Imagine if Nemesis was never built at Alton Towers. Imagine it wasn't Nemesis, it was called The Smiler. But it's 1994, how can that be already built? Well, in today's video, we're gonna build The Smiler in 1994. We're gonna be doing an Arrow Dynamics roller coaster, which I've never actually done before. I think it'll be quite fun, and here we go. I'm gonna build the drop out of the station. The transitions of an arrow coaster aren't the greatest. We're gonna to have to build quite a small corkscrew. I think that's a, the worst corkscrew ever. And then now we go into the lift hill. You can't go that high up as well. Right, now I can show you how I make my actual corkscrews. So I think it goes this way, doesn't it? We've got the corkscrew. Actually, does it make it out the station? Let's see. Right, we need the lift hill to be extra slow. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the first half and then build it uh, myself and then do the same for the next half. Right, like that. And then we're going to do the same for the ne next bit. Right, and now that just makes it 10 times easier to smooth out. Okay, so then we're going to go down into a loop. I'm sure the Batwing existed. It does a few dive loops, doesn't it? So we'll have to have a double corkscrew after the Batwing. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Nothing perfect, especially arrow coasters. And then corkscrews. Oh no, I've just come off it. I've not actually ridden any other arrow coaster than Revolution and Revolution and, and the big one. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we'll go into the next half, the final half. I'm not gonna do a vertical lift hill, though the technology wasn't possible back then. I think um, this drop is actually a bit taller as well, even though I'm doing it a bit smaller. By the way, uh, I won't be doing, I will be converting everything into custom inversions. Right, I'm gonna have to make a custom roll here, won't I? This feels more like a zero G roll than a uh, corkscrew. Oh, we can do the airtime hill, the triangle hill. The smoothing for this is gonna be horrid. Right, we we've done that, and now it goes in. We'll do a loop again. I don't think Arrow's actually ever done a uh, cobra roll. Doesn't matter though. It's like Vacoma slash Arrow, isn't it? Because I think Vacoma has done a bat wing and a. Uh, Cobra roll. Yeah, they, I know they've done a Cobra roll with the boomerang model. So let's count the inversions right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we'll do a cut back. Oh no, it's rolled back. Where's it rolled back? This is just insane. I don't think this would ever actually happen in real life. If like, I don't think Arrow would have had the capability of making something like this. Like their safety wouldn't have been good enough to make something like this. It's really good that we have something like this now in uh, our times. And it's, it's crazy how the Smiler has still actually got the record for the most inversions as well. It's kept it for a long long time now i'm surprised like someone like intamin hasn't beaten it they easily could but i think the smiler deserves it and would deserve a, a record like that corkscrew here and then we can turn and do the last and i've used no banking offset and then one more inversion and then up Whilst I'm editing this video, I've just realised I have not saved the roller coaster as a blueprint. So there's no cinematics, but there is a POV. Um, but I want to thank you guys for 900 subscribers. It really means a lot. And enjoy the POV.